Hi, and welcome to lesson six. In this lesson, you're going to learn about the JagerPress tools. So, these tools are the main the tools that JagerPress use to make their works best. And these are the major tools that's been used by Jaggerfors. So they will be able to identify and provide information and knowledge for people. So we'll be able to understand and different uh, the parts of the world. So as we mentioned last time, the Jaggerpress mostly uh, works on uh, places, uh, locations, regions, environments, and the human interaction. So in this lesson, uh, you are going to learn about the main the tools that the Jaggerpress use. So this includes maps, globes, and satellite images. So at the first part uh, from the tool, so uh, you can see here the uh, map. So the maps is the major, the parts the geographers use to uh, identify and recognize the areas, the places and the countries, as well as the continents. So, it's very important tools for geographers using the maps. So a map is a flat drawing that's uh, showing all or a part of the Earth's surface. So if you see here, you see the maps of the Africa. So uh, there are different uh, countries in this continent and also different regions and uh, places. So. Uh, by using uh, the map, so it helps us to understand the world and also we will be able to understand the where the locations and the place is, exist. So that's why the maps is one of the important uh, the tools for the geographers. Uh, the second tool is the globes. Uh, the globes is also it's very important. So the globes, it means uh, it shows us uh, the shapes of the Earth, and it shows us the how the Earth is uh, looks like. So, as you can see here, uh, the globes is the circles and the, the spherics, the shape, it's the models of the entire planet. So this is the how our planet Earth looks like. So uh, we will be able to understand and uh, identify. Uh, different countries uh, around the world and also the globes uh, gives us the more uh, the shapes of the earth and the, how the earth looks like rather than the maps. The maps can identify also the world but the globes is uh, more clear giving us the shapes of the earth so that is the very clear to understand how the Earth shape it. Uh, the last, the tools is the satellite image. So uh, it's important part tools that geographers use the satellite tools, and that is the provide the people and the Earth will be able to understand the change on the Earth and also how the things may change around the earth and that is gives us the clear point the how earth is looks like and the satellite image so even provides us the knowledge and information and the countries and also the lands oceans and rivers on the earth so as we See here, the geographers use the satellite image to see what an area looks like. So as you see here, how the areas looks like from the Earth's 
this helps them to create accurate maps. So by having taken the pictures or images of uh, the satellites, this helps them to create a good shapes of a map. And the fourth, the tools the geographers use the GPS and also they use the GIS. So the GPS mean refer to the global positioning systems and the GIS refer to the geographers geographic information system. So the GI, GBS means here is a device for measuring the geographic coordinates at any locations or on a earth. So the GBS, the geographers use to identify the places and also identify the locations. So by using GBS, the geographers help them to identify different places from place to another place, different positions. And uh, the GIS, it's uh, the geography information system. So the geographers use uh, the GIS is uh, the Canberra or internet based on the mapping technology. So the using the GIS, it means the geographers use the Canberra. So they collect uh, data from a uh, place and also the location. So this helps them to, to provide a good uh, information and uh, uh, by using the Canberra. So all the data that they collect from uh, people and places, so they uh, use or to enter the data information in a Canberra. So uh, the information will be available on a map. So this is the help them to create um, the maps. It's not like the physical maps, lets them to use uh, uh, online maps and also people will be able to access uh, information by using uh, GIS. So this is the which has been created by the geographers. So that all today in our lesson. So take it. Thank you.